Oh, okay guys, um, I, I just realized I had the audio muted for some reason and also I'm dropping frames like crazy So I don't even know if I'll be able to stream. I'm currently dropping 40% of my frames. I Don't know what's up with my internet. I Started up and it's just what is going on with the bitrate? <laughs> this is insane This is absolutely insane the amount it's dropping Let's hope it stabilizes. <laughs> this is so weird. It's even shooting above the normal bitrate and then dropping below. Yeah, I might have to, Sled. It, it seems to be stabling out, though. It seems to be stabilizing a little bit. Kind of, I think. Well, we'll we'll play for a couple minutes and you guys tell me if it's uh, bad or what. What's really strange is it's jumping above the normal bitrate. It's jumping above the normal bitrate and then going below it. So I don't know. It looks like it's good though. It looks like it's uh, working out now. It's occasionally dropping low, but I think it's gonna be okay. Well, have you tried uh, maxing out the quality, Remington? Oh, really, Kyla? Yeah, let's see. Why is it jumping above my normal bitrate? That's so weird. It's trying to go above my normal bitrate. Which that that does not look normal at all. What is happening? Yeah, cuz I've got my bitrate limited to 6500, but it's jumping up to like 9000 occasionally, which is really strange. It shouldn't be doing that. Like, it's normal for it to jump up a little bit, like 500 above. But not quite, uh, not quite this crazy. I think it's stabilized, guys. I think we're good. It's staying around the 6500 mark now for bitrate. It's looking better, I think. Or how about you can get out of here, Justin, because we don't do that here. Go think about it. It doesn't look like we're dropping any more frames. I'm gonna watch the uh, drop frame counter and see if it goes up. We shall see. I think we're good now though. Yeah, it looks like most of you are saying it looks good. Okay, so I, th I think we're good. I think we're good. If it gets bad again, we can always restart. Uh, Kyla actually already said what it was in the uh, chat, Trace. But uh, if, if you missed that, it was a super rare white tail. Piebald diamond. We ended up getting it yesterday. How many kills am I at since my last great one? Um, I think like a thousand or so. Let me look. I got my last great one at Okay, so I got it at 11,150 which means we've only killed 675 since then. 
There, there. If they miss that, then then they're just not looking. Oh. Why are you kidding me? What is this? <laughs> what is going on? I haven't gone on Call of the Wild since yesterday's stream. I haven't touched this game since yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Map be broken. I know, right? I've never had this kind of luck before. I, th <laughs> I think that's going to be a diamond too. Are you kidding me? I, everybody's gonna think this is fake. I can already tell. What are the odds? What are the odds? I I actually I accidentally almost uh, <laughs> I almost cussed there for a second too. I was so close. Luckily I I held myself back. Dude, there's no way this is possible. Like, we got our super rare yesterday. And then we killed a diamond at this lake right after, and now we've got a super rare here. Oh my gosh, man. Wh why is my luck just suddenly good? We've had such bad luck throughout our grinds when it comes to rares. We've had hardly any rares, and now this is the second diamond potential piebald. I know, Kylo, we gotta be close to another great one. I don't know what to do. What do I take this thing with? This is just incredible. This is insane. Oh my gosh. I am like shaking so much. Uh, what should we get? What should we take it with? Next like I'm gonna get a Mel a great one. I hope you're right, Sam. Um, what do we take it with? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Hampton, I don't know, dude. I am blown away. This just turned around. We were having so much troubles with drop with dropped frames, and I'm still having some issues with dropped frames. But I'm gonna have to hopefully just <laughs> Oh gosh. <coughs> oh gosh, excuse me. Anyway, as I was saying. I'm gonna have to just uh, try to calm down and take this thing down. Uh, let's do the wildcat. We haven't used the wildcat on anything as far as I know. I'm gonna go iron sights too. We have to. Oh my gosh. Dude. There's no way this is real. There's no way this is real life. There's no way this is real life. I have to be dreaming. I guess the... Uh, Months and months of complaining that I don't get any super rares has paid off because now we've got a second one in front of us possibly Dude, it's right there too I I would have preferred an albino or a mela, but I'll take it. I don't care It's still a super rare. I Can't believe this is a second one <laughs> Uh, not really, Matt. It's it's pretty random. Most of the time they respawn around the same, but a lot of times it'll be random. Ah, man, our internet is still looking terrible. Man. I'm still dropping so many frames. This is really unfortunate that we found it with all these frames dropping. Because it's going to make it so the actual stream won't look as nice. Which is really unfortunate. We're at like 9,500 dropped frames. Oh gosh. Nice, Jay and Cubing. That's how it was yesterday for us too. We had a diamond over here at this lake. Right over in that spot. We're, we're on like such a hot streak right now. We got the super rare on our third run yesterday. And then on our fourth run, we got the diamond. And now this would be technically the fifth run because I haven't played at all since that. Well, actually I take that back. I logged in to let Kill Clinton get some screenshots of one of my trophies, but 
That's uh, the only thing that I did after the stream. So this is a respawn from that last run we did yesterday, which is kind of insane that we're getting this much good stuff back to back. They, there has to be a great one close. Like, there has to be. Not too late to reset the modem. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, but it hasn't dropped any frames since then, so I think we're good. I haven't dropped any frames in the last two minutes, so... Hopefully we're good. It seems to just come in bursts. Take it with the air gun. Uh, I've already committed to the 44, so I think I'm just going to stick with this. Oh my gosh. Uh, no videos have it yet, Jonathan. We got it yesterday, so I haven't posted a video on it. But we've got another one in front of us. I'm, I'm blown away. I've heard of people getting, you know, great ones back to back, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody get super rares back to back. This is honestly the Kill Clinton luck because he had some crazy luck with the Red Deer where he got his great one and his super rare really close together. I think Lady Legend had the same type of luck with great ones. What is it, like five and ten weeks? <laughs> I just get the super rare luck apparently now. Oh my gosh. Great one close? I hope so. Uh, Luke, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Casey, how's it going? We've got a super rare whitetail in front of us again. Two days in a row. Oh my gosh. I'm okay with this being like a handgun kill because it's going to give me time to calm down. Because I don't want to mess this shot up. Yeah, Clay Drew was crazy, dude. I'm just happy that this is all happening on stream, so it's all documented, and there's no no way that people could be like, oh, it was fake, because we spawned the last, the last one on stream, third run yesterday, and I haven't touched Call of the Wild since, and now we got this guy. Didn't know it was Whitetail Community Day and Call of the Wild go. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sam, that's hilarious. Man. I hope it's a super rare. <coughs> oh my gosh, what is wrong with my throat today? Like every time that I try to speak, it just tickles my throat. What a time to get a tickle in my throat, right? It's pretty wide. It definitely is. I know, Kyla. <laughs> I know. I'm going to try not to. Oh, this guy's right in front of him too. That's not good. I'm honestly surprised we made it across the water without it making us stand up. It's so nice to see our map finally producing because we've just for the longest time had terrible luck with rares, terrible luck with super rares, okay luck with great ones, but not like anything insane. But now it's finally starting to heat up. We're finally starting to get some good spawns that are just insane. A steel shot. We've got another potential super rare in front of us, dude. This is insane. Hey, Caitlin, we got a super rare in front of us again. Look at that beast. Oh my gosh. A uh, diamond is 255 and this guy's upper estimate is 257. Typically, rares score at the top of their estimate or at the bottom of their estimate. And there's no way it scores at the bottom. So this has to be a super rare. This has to be. Oh my gosh. Uh, try a different quality setting, Casey. Because it, it looks fine to me. I give you my Mela Great One luck. Thank you. Hopefully we can get that Mela Great One luck. Imagine if we did get a rare Great One on top of this now. I can't believe we actually made it to the tripod too. Hey Trippy, how's it going? It's happening again, dude. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. It's two days in a row. Oh, that's a risky angle. I don't like that. I don't like this angle at all. Um. There, that should alert it. Or they're just attentive? Interesting. I could use the collar, yeah. I could. 
Yeah, he's still attentive, so let's try the call. I just still can't believe this. This is insane. No, he's, he's back to calm. I guess they don't want the caller. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he doesn't care about the call. Feels bad. Feels bad. Well... Yeah, the pistol has pretty pretty good penetration. 44 Magnum's pretty strong. There we go, that's what we needed. Oh my gosh, we did it. We got it, are you kidding me? Never before have I had two super rares close together. In fact, this is only the fourth super rare we've ever found. And I think it's pretty much guaranteed because 257 was the upper estimate and typically rares score at the high end. Oh my gosh. Come on, please. <laughs> oh. Is this even real life? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe this. <laughs> All the hard work is finally paying off. I mentioned this yesterday, but originally I didn't want a third great one. Originally I wanted two great ones and a super rare. And well, it's taken us four great ones just to get our first super rare and then we got another one the next day. I'm just absolutely blown away. I, I've i never had this type of luck in Call of the Wild before, like... Not this crazy. Now we gotta search for a albino or melanistic diamond, if that's even a possibility. It's always piebalds for me, but I'll take it. This is insane. Well, we've got a pretty crazy mount to build, uh, once we get done with this stream. In fact, I, I kind of want to go build it now. Like, I kind of want to build it now. Jeez. Do it? Alright, we'll go into the lodge and we'll build that mount. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. How's everybody doing that's just jumping in? Hey Mel, how's it going? You made it just in time for Super Rare number two in the last two days. Oh my gosh, dude. Great one this stream. I hope so, Clay Drew. I really hope so. We got a uh, we got a super rare yesterday, then a diamond after that, and now another super rare. There's got to be a great one close. There has to be a great one close. Like, I believe Ron McTube had some crazy luck with like level three rares and stuff like that right before one of his great ones or right after one of his great ones. I know, right, Kyla? Even though I got the first one to spawn on run three of the day for yesterday, so. That one is uh, completely documented in a stream. This one I could see how some people might think it's fake because it was the first thing we spotted today. But considering, you can see my money has not gone up at all. This is just crazy. But yeah, since there's always going to be a couple people that are going to be like, Oh my gosh, it's so staged and fake! You can see my money. It's barely moved since yesterday's stream. And I'm just going to keep both of these streams uh, public on the channel because of that. That's crazy though. Oh my gosh. Finally we have some insane luck. Finally we have some insane luck and it's like next level insane. Why can't I get this lucky with the red deer though? I've wanted a super rare red deer ever since I started playing and still haven't got it. But we did manage to get a second super rare white tail. Man, I just want to keep looking at it. It's like... Oh man. Let's go look at it in the lodge. 
uh, after we claim this little dude too. Let's go check it out in the lodge. If we find a great one this stream, I don't think I can handle it. Yeah, Impossible Gamer, this has been crazy. Been absolutely crazy. Yeah, Mel, this is nuts. Like, I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. But this really reminds me of when, uh... This really reminds me of one of Ron McTube's great ones. Because he had a great one where right before, he got a troll melanistic level 3. And then he got a diamond level 2 piebald. Hey, Giant Carlo, how's it going, dude? We just got our second super rare in two days. We just got a second super rare in two days, man. This is insane. I got you, Daniel. I'm passing my luck over to you. Gotta pass the luck over. And not even within 1k kills, Trippy. Literally within 100 kills, we got two super rares. Uh, here's the other one. Here it is. So this is my first great one ever. The one that ended up breaking with uh, the next update they did after that. So it wasn't a piebald when we shot it. For those that are not familiar with this one. This was my first great one I ever shot. And then when they put out a hotfix to try and fix some of the broken fur types. It broke the ones that weren't broken. That had been shot during that time. So a lot of people have some broken great ones. And broken whitetail in general because of that. But it was a common when we ended up shooting it. So let's go ahead and break down this trophy. Get that right there. And then here's the diamond that we shot yesterday after we got our super rare. Wow, this is just unreal. Uh, let's put our great one first, I think. And then have it surrounded by the two super rares. Oh my gosh. I never thought this would be a mount I could ever create. Never in a million years would I have ever dreamed that I could have this. If only it would have been an albino, then I could have had like the same mount as Flinter. That would have been pretty hilarious, considering uh, we're always, always considered like twins because we get the same stuff. That looks so good right there, actually. I'm leaving it like that. That's really nice. What a crazy mount. This is insane. Oh my gosh. It does look like the stream's finally uh, leveling out a little bit. We haven't had any dropped frames in the last 10 minutes, so I think we're good to go. <laughs> yes, Sam, jump on, dude. See if you can get some crazy luck. Nice, Nasta. That's awesome. Welcome back, Brayden. Yeah, Christine, we just got another super rare. It was literally the first thing we spotted on the day, too. Literally the first thing I've spotted since yesterday's stream. Crazy. Yes, Analdo, let's get it. Oh my gosh, yes, Sam. Me and Flinter, TikTok dances, yes, 100%. Wow, it's crazy. I don't know which mount is more insane, this one or our triple great one mount. I don't even know which one is better now. I'm kind of leaning towards the double super rare mount. I kind of think it's better than this one. Yeah, I'd say go for it, Trippy. Pretty much, Alex. I mean, that's my strategy regardless. I always shoot everything in sight. So that really doesn't change for me. I always shoot everything. Hey, hey, Sippy, how's it going? Thank you for the super chat. You joined us such a great time. We just got super rare number two in the last two days. Really appreciate that support, eh, Sippy? Good to see you. Great one is coming soon? I hope so. I really hope so. What happened to my crosshair? Um. Thanks, Call of the Wild. There we, there we go. There's my right crosshair. All right, let's uh, get back to the grind. <laughs> oh yeah, of course I'll still grind, uh, Caleb. What is happening to my game? I'm lagging out like crazy. I'm gonna have to close Discord. Cause I'm getting some major lag. Still getting a little bit of lag. Oh, I think I know why. It's cause I took the fan down that was blowing into my PC. 
I might need to set that fan back up. Give me a couple seconds, guys. I'm gonna set this fan back up. You would think that uh, all the fans inside the PC would do enough to cool it down, but no, mine, mine's like, hey, I need more. How many great ones have I gotten so far? I have a total of four great one whitetail and one great one red deer. Sadly, the red deer have not been very uh, kind to me. There we go. Now I got the fan blowing into it. It should be good. Hey, Poondock, how's it going, dude? I cannot believe it, man. Like, that is the second super rare in two days. That's, I've never had luck like that with, like, rares or super rares ever. It just still doesn't even feel real. Also, how have you been doing, man? Hopefully you've been doing good. It's uh, nice to see you in here. Uh, let's get oh, we need to go get our other 308 What's a super rare a super rare is a uh, Rare that is also a diamond. So it's basically a diamond with a rare fur type Let's drop off the 44 and get the other 308 what a way to start the day It still just doesn't feel real your Pringles are gone. Oh, no, Kyla. That's not good. That is not good at all. That is honestly a tragedy, if I'm being honest. Quite the tragedy. We only have 67 shots left for our 22. That's not good. I should probably refill. Yeah, we did, Sonaldo. We did. We just got it. Think that should be good, and yes, it is. Oh, gotcha, Poondock, gotcha. I kind of figured you were probably mainly Twitch. What all super rares do I have again? Because all my super rares are albino and aren't all yours piebald. Um, most of mine are piebald, yes. I've got a piebald diamond caribou, the two white tail. And then I've also got the Diamond Leucistic Mallard Duck. The Mallard's the only one that isn't a piebald for me. Oh, nice. We got some uh, respawned over here now. I haven't had deer at this zone in ages. That's actually really nice to see because I like that zone a lot better than some of the zones that I've been getting recently. Hey, Russian Potato, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. Yeah, Poondock. Well, this was back when uh, Yukon first came out, so it was a little bit easier to find them, but it's still definitely not an easy feat because I had a lot of trolls before that. But yeah, it was a crazy trophy to find. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Ooh, wow, Giant Carlo. That's nice, dude. That is nice, man. Hopefully you can get a nice diamond out of that. Should be one more that was hiding, right? Yeah. Oh, she stopped. Hey, we got her. Nice. 
All right, that should be all of them. Me too, damn the man. I hope we get it. I was the first thing we spotted in the stream, uh, Jack. It was pretty insane. Nice, Amy. That's awesome. That's still cool. Anytime you can get two diamonds back to back, that's always an awesome thing. Pretty rare as well. Is a rare great one possible? Yes, it is possible. There has been one person that has done it that was actually legit. LC ended up getting a albino great one. Oh yeah, for sure, Zyphon. It's gonna be a crazy video. Two super rare whitetail in one video is gonna be insane. I can already tell there's gonna be a million comments that are like, there's no way this is real. This has to be cheated. I'm gonna have to like link all the streams and everything to it. Cause honestly, this is one of those moments that just doesn't even seem real to me. I think this is the first time where I've ever had something happen where I'm like, oh, this, this just doesn't even seem real. Uh, Joshua, thank you for the five month membership. Holy dude. How's it going? You missed another super rare KC. First thing we spot on the day. Level 3 piebald. The luck is insane recently. Oh, we missed two. Like, we've got to be heating up. We gotta have a great one close. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, Poondock, pretty much. Yeah, KC, I was blown away. I honestly just, like, got up from my PC when I spotted it. Because I couldn't believe it. It's just crazy. I was shaking so much trying to stock up on it too. We ended up taking it with a 44 Magnum. It was insane. Hacks for sure, I know, right? Hacks for sure, dude. A scarecrow guy's a cheater. I swear. All right, let's see if we got any over here. Do we? It's been empty the last like five runs. Yeah, so they haven't moved back over there yet. Which means they're probably over here still. Uh, Diamond for Whitetail's 255. All right, later, Michael. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Hey, Frantic, how's it going? Yeah, KC keeps missing out. KC keeps missing the super rares. Nice, we got a few close. Pi super rare huddle mount incoming. I know, right, dude? Right now, I've got the two piebald diamonds with the my first great one. That's the mount we got going at the moment. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, boost you did, dude. You did. That looked like a good... Oh! That's a big deer. <laughs> Is that another diamond? Is that thing another diamond? Wait a minute, that might be another diamond. What is our luck right now? We've, we're on an insane heater. Like this is the biggest heater I've ever been on. I've never had this many diamond potential deer in such a short amount of time. I have with red deer, but never with white tail. We have to be close. Like there's no way we're not close. I'm convinced we're close to a great one. We have to be at this rate. That is, I think, a guaranteed diamond whitetail over there. That is one of the biggest level twos I've seen. Uh, we're going to wait for that guy to come back. That, oh my gosh, look at the size of him. Oh my gosh, that's crazy huge. This has to be a diamond. 
This is crazy. Yeah, this is for sure, Shelly. This is a massive heater, like huge. I've, like I was saying, I've never had this many diamond whitetail back to back. And I've got almost 12,000 kills at this point on whitetail. Never before have I seen this many diamond potentials back to back like this. This is crazy. Out of almost 12,000 kills, never before have we ever had this luck. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Where did we shoot him? I think he's down here further. Uh, let's claim these first. Yeah, Raider, it's gotta be close, dude. It's gotta be close. Uh, this is Rancho Del Arroyo. I'm assuming you're new here, Expo. Gonna assume that you're new. Holy. This is crazy. Alright, I think that's all the deer over here. Let's go pick up that level 2. That thing looked huge. It has to be a diamond. There's no way. Hey, Adam, we actually got another super rare today, too. So we, we now have two diamond piebalds in two days. All my luck just finally caught up. And we ended up getting two. Yeah, rare great ones are possible. I don't know, Dino. This is crazy. This is just wild. Yeah, it's understandable, Harley. Uh, for me, it hasn't really changed too much. I've still been enjoying Rancho for grinding. Yeah, we could maybe do that, KC, if you want to draw if you want to jump in soon. We could maybe do something like that. Get that super rare hype going. <laughs> Dude. I was saying this earlier, Casey. You have the um You've got the red deer luck, and it seems like I've got the white tail luck. Which is unfortunate because I want the red deer luck, but I never get the red deer luck. But, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the white tail luck as well. Is it a diamond? 260.70 it is. Roughly the same weight as the last one as well. Just barely into that range where it's still a level 2, but about to be a level 3. That's wild. Hey, Smash, how's it going, dude? Yeah, this is a massive level 2. I think this is my biggest level 2 ever. Crazy. Lottery, yes. I should probably go buy a lottery ticket with this luck. Should probably go buy a lottery ticket at this point. Because it just keeps on getting better. You know, I was going to just make tomorrow's video a highlights video of like all of our whitetail highlights that I haven't posted. And then have the super rare at the end. But now I got to completely rethink that plan because we got... Two super rares and two regular diamonds in the last two days. So I gotta completely rethink that video idea. I mean, it's still pretty wide, man. It's still pretty wide, Trippy. Uh, it sounds like there's a deer on top of us. Holy. This is crazy. Great one this stream? I hope so. We gotta be close. We gotta be close. I didn't know this much luck was possible. I didn't either, Dino. I've never had this many good things back to back.
You know, I, I've actually got another idea, Sam. I got another idea. I'm going to do the whole, like, um... 24 hours later. That's probably what we'll end up doing. Because it has been roughly 24 hours since our last one. Hey, Lewis, how's it going, dude? At least, I, I think that's you. The name's different than last time, but I believe that's you, right, Lewis? But thank you for the super chat. Appreciate the support. And uh, the super rare we got was a diamond piebald whitetail, and we just got another, too. We've got two of them now. Which is crazy, considering I've never killed a super rare whitetail in my first 11,850 kills, and then in the last 75 or so, we've had two. It's just unbelievable. To the point where I, I still don't even believe that it's real. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Jeez. Oh, okay, I thought so. I thought it was you, Lewis. Jeez. Hey, I try my best, Sam. I try my best. I do what I can here. I mean, that's a big albino, Lewis. That's a really nice albino still. Hey, DD66, how's it going? Uh, this map is Rancho Del Arroyo. Well, I think it's time to change the title of the stream to Two Super Rares? <laughs> My gosh. Oh gosh, it's lagging. Oh, there we go. It finally popped up. All right, there we go. Title has changed. Oh my gosh. Still just blown away. Do we have any deer over here? Because I know we had a zone there at one point and they might have moved. Probably not, Tyler. As far as I know, it's a restriction with uh, Microsoft. So I don't think that will happen, sadly. It would be amazing if they could find a way to do it, though. Hey, Destiny, how's it going? Well, we have been doing amazing. We ended up getting another super rare. Are rare great ones possible? Yes, they are possible, Expo. It is possible to get a rare great one. Only one has ever been killed legitimately, though. And that was by LC. It was an albino great one. Unfortunately, it changed to a common after one of the hot fixes that EW did. And uh, it, it was kind of the same with a lot of people's great ones that they killed during that time. Like one of my original great ones, my very first one, turned to a piebald instead of a common, even though it was common when I shot it. And it was the same for LC's uh, great one. His albino turned to a common when the update hit, which was unfortunate because, man, that was honestly such a crazy trophy. I feel bad for him because that was a once in a lifetime thing. There we go. We got some more deer over here. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of deer over here. So I see where all of our bucks have gone. I think this is probably why the other side of the lake was so barren. Ah, uh, Lewis, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Said it before and say it again, you're the best. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the continued support as always. Alright, let's try to take down that guy first because he's clearly the nicest deer out of those. Uh, let's lay down over here if we can. I've done a couple videos on, like, advice for more diamonds, uh, Nick. Yeah, we could maybe do that, Carter. I could maybe see uh, another dead side stream happening soon. If KC's down to do it, we definitely could. Did that hit? Okay, it did. And these ones didn't spook, so they're a different herd. Uh, LC is somebody in the community that does quite a bit of Great One grinding. Uh, they talk about their Great One grind and stuff quite a bit in the Hunter Official Discord. Uh, they're not really a content creator or anything like that, but 
He's got a ton of great ones. I think 10 or 11 at this point. Even more great ones than I think any content creator, really. Which is crazy. Just uh, speaks to his dedication on it. I believe he has posted some of his great ones on YouTube, though. What's the super rare? We got another Piebald Diamond Whitetail, Ben. We got another one. All right, later, Dino. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Uh, yeah, no, so pretty much. Because the way that things work on uh, Rancho, the deer always return to the same zones you shot, or not the same zones, but the same lakes that you shot them at, so... When it comes to grinding on Rancho, I just pick my three favorite lakes and just blast everything that's at them. Because nine times out of ten, they'll come back to the same area. Or the same lake at the very minimum. So it makes for pretty quick and fun grind. Uh, the one that we got today, Lewis, ended up scoring 257.70, I believe, and yesterday's was 256.10. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool, Sonaldo. That would be pretty awesome. Definitely would like that. North Dakota map? I mean, I have a feeling that EW could make any map fun. I'm sure they'd find a way to make a North Dakota map fun. I really don't know the types of species that would be there, so I really can't say much more than that because I'm not too familiar with North Dakota's species. Uh, it depends on the grinding method you're doing, Axis. If you're doing the grinding method that I use, where I delete the zones constantly, then hunting pressure doesn't matter. But if you're trying to maintain the exact same zones every run, then you will need to watch out for it. Dude, that would be crazy, Lewis. I would be so happy with that. I was really hoping that if I got a super rare, it would be an albino or a melanistic, but both of them were piebald. Which I, I'm still extremely grateful for, like... I can't really complain getting two super rares. But it would be nice to see an albino one someday. Oh, you're in voice chat? Nice, Casey. I'll jump in there. We can chat about stuff and things. Stuff and things while we're hunting them deer. We could maybe even try, like, a duo great one grind if you want to try that out. Maybe hop on my map and... See if, uh, see if it, like, speeds up the process. I'm curious about that, because I don't think anybody's ever tried having, lo like, multiple people grinding for the Great One on the same map. Because previously it wouldn't have been possible with the kind of bugginess of everything, but... I think nowadays it could be possible to do. Well, hello there, sir. Hi. How's it going? It's going good. Uh, I'm live now, actually. One sec. Nice. Dude. Yeah, sure. Like, I don't want to don't hop in with you if you think, like, I don't want to throw anything off. You've got something going on there on your map. So it's up to you. Either we can do that or I could just jump into my own white tail grind. Uh, we could always just grind side by side on our own maps. That would it actually could, it would be work really out pretty well. To, yeah. I mean, let's just see. And then maybe a little bit later on, if we want to try me hopping in with you, we could try yeah, that Yeah, like once things be cool off on the map. To, yeah, totally. This is yeah, crazy, I'll man. Mine and see if I can get some luck, too. Maybe <laughs> maybe I can take some of your luck. Maybe I'll What's be up, your good luck charm. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, you're, you're always my good luck charm, Crow. Good luck, Crow. <laughs> Oh, that's right, Axis. That's right. Kinsko did do a duo grind for his first great one. Oh, that yeah, is that's true. true. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, his friend was, was with him. Mm -hmm. But at least, like, there is the possibility that I could literally come onto your map and see the great one, which is hilarious. Yeah, it'd be crazy. And then I would shoot it and take it, and everyone would be like, man, Casey's so cool. That's so funny that he did that. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. KC and Crow, two legends. You are right, Lewis. It's what we're here for. To provide the hey, legendary Call of the Wild content that you all know and love. I see y'all in the chat. We won't I'm not gonna be 
talking to you guys as much just for the time being because we're with pro but it's all good i see you i see everybody <clears throat> getting our great ones at the same time oh could you imagine revive if we get that our great ones funny. at the same time that would I be insane been on my my rancho whitetail grind in a while but mine's been super slow uh wait did i get a diamond recently i don't even think so i haven't had a diamond or rare in like a long time Oh, actually, Jeez, I think the dude. last rare I got was when we were hunting together and I got the piebald. When the oh, ARs yeah, that's out. right. I remember that. I think that was the last trophy I got in this grind. You know what's wild about uh, the Great One grind on Rancho for me? I have had a very slow grind when it comes to diamonds. And now we've had four diamonds in like 120 kills or so. Yeah, two of them are, are piebald. Yeah. I, I don't get what's going on. My luck has been so bad with the white tail deer for so long. And now Absolutely we're finally great. having a kick up. I mean, besides great ones, obviously, but I have the great ones to show for it, but I don't have a lot of rares or diamonds from the grind, really. Jeez. Like, I'm definitely not averaging what most people average. I've got, like, I think just over 60 diamonds in 12,000 kills. That's like half the rate that most people get diamonds and rares at. Yeah, that's pretty much the same as me, though, because I'm like 5,400 kills on Rancho. And I think 24 diamonds, 10 rares. Jeez, for a while so, you were getting level 3s, like, or I'm sorry, every 10 stream, trolls. though. 10 trolls, 24 diamonds. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it's it slowed down. It slowed down so much. But yeah, at first, for that first while, it was insane. Yeah, I gotta say, like, uh, even after the update, Rancho doesn't really feel too much different. There's, like, slightly less deer, but I honestly feel like it's kind of made it better for me because I don't have as many uh, deer to try and worry about each run. And there's just the perfect amount to where I finish my run right as the time ends for them. Oh, jeez. So I really feel like it hasn't really changed much for me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let me see. What am I doing here? Change some things. I know oh, does don't I count towards the great one grind. It's it's kind of just for me. It's a, a herd. I guess like keeping my herds spawning bucks because if you just shoot bucks, they tend to move around more. I've noticed. And I feel like you get better spawns when you wipe out entire herds and get the full herd to respawn. Yeah, it's something I haven't really tried. I shoot all the, I shoot, I shoot all the bucks. I shoot some of the does if there's a bunch of them, but I don't wipe them clean like you do. It's pretty wild. Yeah, Apparently maybe you should try that strategy out, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna take a second 308. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your, uh, take a page out of your book there. That's, that's very smart. Oh wait, I don't even have another. It's the another it's the same uh, strategy that Mel and Ron have used, the just wiping everything out. Really? Okay. <clears throat> and I mean, they've both got like what six great one white tail or seven or something like that, something crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna shoot the next great one with a six point five nightly. Oh, are you really? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna attempt a four hundred meter six point five shot. It's risky, but I feel like no I have way. to. Really? Oh, that's crazy. I feel like I have to because I always talk about how good the long range capabilities of the 6.5 are. I feel like I just have to do it. That's pretty wild. I think it'll be fine. Are you, good? Yeah. Are you practicing? Have you been practicing for 400? I'll practice when we find it. <laughs> <laughs> The great one will be my practice shot. <laughs> oh, no, it's not 11k deer since the last great one, Lewis. That's 11k in total across all my grinds. Just about to be 12k, actually. Sorry guys, getting my loadout set up. It was all totally different. How unprofessional, Casey. I know. 
Not having everything ready immediately. No. Unacceptable. I know. Everyone's gonna unsubscribe now. <laughs> Dude, I was actually a little bit worried when I first started my stream up. I spent like five minutes waiting for my bitrate to flatten out because it was just fluctuating up and down constantly. I was dropping frames left and right. Oh, yeah. And then it finally evened out and I started things up. I was so worried that it was going to start dropping again, though. That's kind of scary. If it's fine, though. Yeah, it's good now, but the first like 20 minutes or so of the stream, like every few minutes I'd get some dropped frames. It was rough. But it seems That's like it's rough. good now. Oh, I forgot some deer over there. No wonder I didn't your... get respawns. So that's your Streamlabs then, right? No, that'd be my internet. Uh, okay. But it shows it on, uh, it shows it on Streamlabs, you know? Yeah, yeah it yeah, was yeah. my internet. <clears throat> My Streamlabs has been better. I was getting some lag spikes and stuff during the streams for a while, and I was like, what the heck's going on here? Yeah. What's your bitrate again? 6,500. Okay. Yeah, I, I put mine up to 7,000. I'm guessing the streams look much more crisp now. I guess, yeah, because I went up from 6,000. What do you, I don't know. What do you guys think? Are they they're a little bit better now, or it should be? I went up from six thousand to seven thousand. Most noticeable thing will be when you're moving in grass, because uh, normally it would cause a lot of like distortion and pixelation. Yeah. But the higher the bit rate, the more clear it'll be. Yeah, and it should be fine with my internet. My internet is OP. Yeah, dude. How am I go so good at the recoil control? Uh, the recoil perks, and honestly, just a lot of grass. a lot of time playing. <laughs> It, it really right, just comes see. down to practice, like KC just said. See if we the get more some of that crow luck. You gotta think when you've uh, shot at like thousands of whitetail with the same types of guns, being the M1 and the 308. Eventually, you kind of just get down the patterns, and you know where where you need to drag your mouse to get it right on target again. Flickety flick. Yeah, you know how to do those Although flicks. You don't, really, you don't really, you don't really even have to flick though with the 308. <laughs> Nah, it's just a beast. Yeah, it's crazy. The thing's just insane. But it's like right. not so insane that it's the only thing that you have to use. Like the th the thirty out six and like the M one and the three hundred three, they still they still hold up, which I like that. This is gonna be weird with two guns. I gotta remember that I've got two guns. I gotta get used to this. Yeah, it takes a bit to get used to. Are you that's doing awesome, Argus man. on one and then Hyperion on the other? Ooh, that's a good idea. No, but that'd be that'd be hard to get used to, man. That's what I've been doing. Most of the time, wow. I will do the Argus for long range and then Hyperion for close range. And then, uh, obviously, if I'm shooting at a bunch of deer, just I take whichever yeah. one's more convenient and switch to the other one when I run out. And you just, you just kind of got both dialed in where you make it work with both. I could try it. Oh, yeah. I'll try it. Yeah, it works no out pretty good. Yet. Yeah, Trippy, it's a good gun. 303 is awesome. I love it. Your your frames look illegally good. Yeah, does the, the streams look a little better now than they used to? It's cool. Wasn't expecting a uh, stream with Crow. Yeah, man, it's always a nice surprise, right? It's a secret surprise stream. That's why, uh, yeah. that's why we didn't talk about it. It just happened. Impromptu streams always go good for us, so. Yeah, that's the best way to do it, I think. <laughs> Spontaneous streams that just kind of happen. Yeah. I'm having I'm having people request a dead side stream from us, too. I've seen a couple requests from it. Yeah, it's been a while. For it. It's been a while. We might have to do that. I don't even know if they've changed anything since the last time we played, have they? I don't know. I think it wasn't that long ago, so probably not. They had a big update, like, right before the last time we played, I think. Yeah, and I don't think they've done anything since, have they? I don't think so. Thank you, Thunderstriker. He says that uh, me and you are the best Call of the Wild streamers. Appreciate that, Thunderstriker. Appreciate that. Big compliment. Oh, yeah, because there is a ton of creators a lot out of there. Call the Wild streamers. 
<laughs> nice, revive. Yeah, seven mil is decent for Black Bear. It packs a punch. I used it for a long time before I got the 300. Oh yeah, same. It's a good gun. I love the seven mil for multiplayer, especially. Because in multiplayer, you don't really shoot, take like... many follow-up shots. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I used to shoot like cape off low with it and everything. I only had the seven millimeter for a long time for that class range. It's yeah, kind of dude. It's pretty sweet. Like it. I haven't seen a white tail yet, Crow. You haven't? Okay. They're hiding, man. They're hiding from you. Are you still hunting all of your zones? Mm, no. No, but most of them. Oof. You hunt three lakes, right? I don't have enough zones at three lakes. Mine are spread out. I mean, mine are also, pretty spread got... out too, but I can only so how many zones really like... Uh, I don't keep track because I constantly delete them, but Roughly. let's see. It's one, two, three, four, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine. I'm really only hunting like 12 zones. Yeah, I don't think I have that many zones between three lakes. Well, I don't use just three lakes. I use the three big lakes that I always talk yeah. about, Bosque Alto, Ghost Lake, and La Hacienda. And then I use the really tiny lake north of Bosque Alto and the other really tiny lake on the far bottom uh, right of the map. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty similar, but I've got just a few other zones around that I like to check that I've been hunting. Got you. But I might tend as to... long as you're not hunting the brushy lakes, then you're good. No, all my like all the zones. Yeah, all the zones I'm hunting are like, it's like they're good, you know. Nice. Good yeah, because I know you used to hunt the really brushy lake in the north, and I just could never get into hunting that thing. The one it's... in like the cent north, like the center of the map. Yeah, like the north I've center. Got... Oh, I've got two really good zones there that I hunt, but those are my only two white tail zones at that map. They're not. It's not brushy where I'm hunting them. Oh, got you. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, I used to like that. I had good zones there. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh, dear. There we go. Boop. He's dead. Dude, I don't have whitetail on my map. They're gone. They took a vacation. <laughs> They're not I think here. they came over to my map. Because I've got a lot more than normal today. Actually, I guess it's just that they're bunching up in the same zones. I don't have as many zones as normal. They're all, like, grouped up. Am I on Layton? It must what be. This? this This Layton map looks a lot like Ranch Out. It's a very deserty Layton map. You're hunting in the Layton Lakes area of Mississippi. You're watching me and Crow at the same time, Miles? Nice, man. Enjoy. <clears throat> yeah, I don't get it either, Kyla. I don't get it. Don't understand it go. one bit. There's Whitetail here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whitetail. No way. Take him down before they get away. Death. Never thought I'd see him. There's a buck in there. Okay, I think my strategy start destroying zones. Just smoke everything in sight. I think so. Ooh, we got Whitetail over here again, finally. Okay, so we're going to have to approach this differently than what we have been the last couple of days. Start with the Argus. Oh, this feels weird. Oh, the Argus. Oh, my Not God. used to it. <laughs> so sensitive. It is. If you zoom all the way out, though, it kind of feels like a fully zoomed in Hyperion. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Holy. And then you still have that extra zoom if you need it. Well, I made it work. Layton makes me cry, Boost. Makes me cry every time I try to hunt Whitetail. That is, ah, it's a piebald doe. Jeez. Oh my gosh. You're ridiculous. 
Yeah, we're definitely on a mega heater. Mega heater. I don't really use the term heater very often because I don't really feel like it happens that often, but this is a true heater if I've ever seen one. I rarely use that term, but I don't know what else to call this. We've had four diamonds, two of them being super rares, and a rare doe within the last like 150 kills. I don't know what else you would call this but a heater. I would call it... <laughs> Hang on, I need more time. You would call anything. it? Come on. I don't know. I don't know. I, I started speaking without thinking first. So there's got to be something else we can call it other than a heater. That's just, I just cringe so hard it's, when I uh, hear it. It's, uh... It's, uh... That's a dead doe, that's what that is. Um, what is it? Uh, what, what could uh, we call it? Um, <laughs> pizza party? <laughs> pizza party, yes. It's a oh, pizza party. Are, are, you, are you saying that the piebald deer kinda look like a cheese pizza? Sure. And you know, they got the mozzarella cheese and then they got the, uh, they got the, the Col they're just a Colby Jack cheese pizza, that's what they are. Definitely could, got a pizza party going that. on in your map. <laughs> Definitely. Crow's got a crazy pizza party going on in his map. I'm trying to get one going on my map. Yeah, it could just be called a streak, Kyla. I've always just called it a hot streak. It's kind of similar to heater, but not really. Hot pizza. We got a hot pizza coming out the oven and it's giving us whitetail. <laughs> Call it crow cheats. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna call these the uh, crow dot hacks dot exe activate. And now every time somebody has good luck, it's just been gonna be called. You got those crow hacks, man. Uh, he he pressed F eleven again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a hot a hot pocket. Okay, I. I kind of like that because we're hitting like a, a pocket, pocket of yeah. deer. Yeah, we're hitting like a like pocket that, of good deer. It's a hot pocket. That's perfect, Revive. <laughs> well, it's a it's a Hawaiian hot pocket, right? Pineapple Something in there? like that. A Hawaiian hot pocket. Hey, everybody. Oh, look at all the mods. Holy. The mod party. How you guys doing? Is Where the members is too, this And everyone dough? else too. You guys are amazing. How's Here it is. Going? There's our little albino. Or albino. Piebald. Little albino. Al albi there she albi is. Albibald. Albi yeah, the albibald, yes. Little albibald. And there she is. Not going to tax because it is a doe, but that's really cool. I'm just blown away at the luck. This has been such a crazy two days. Never before has this happened to us during a great one grind. It's nice to see some luck finally happening. I was like on such a dry streak with Whitetail, like for the longest time. Really the great one was like the only decent thing we got and then after we got that last great one, then our luck just slowly like increasingly got better every single time we started grinding for Whitetail. Been wild. Didn't tell Discord? Oh my gosh, one sec. Whoops. What's our dream trophies in game? Yours is an albino 300 plus moose. Ooh, that would be insane, actually. That would be crazy, uh, Pickle Rick. A 300 plus albino moose would be ridiculous. I mean, it's still got to be a melanistic red deer for me. Melanistic red deer diamond still has to be my dream trophy. Favorite great great one is the red deer. <clears throat> oh, definitely breakfast for dinner, Kyla. Is that even a question? All right, let's sneak up here. Let's see if we can find some whitetail at this lake. 
This lake's been really weird. You know that like little lake in the north? Uh, wait. Oh, sorry. You're talking to me? <laughs> yeah, you know that little lake in the north? Hi. Uh, yeah. I like that one. It's been really weird for me recently. Like, the deer are not coming to the calls nearly as often as they used to. Yeah, it's been weird for me, too, since the update. Uh, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Today, they're not there. Yeah, it's really strange. And yeah, a lot a of times, they're drinking way farther back than I remember. So they're just out of call yeah. range, and I have to stalk up through the brush. Yeah, that might even be what it is. They might just be... Uh... They might just be hiding better than better than usual, but it's it's consistently inconsistent. Oh, I see a deer. Speak of the devil, right there. Two of them. Three of them. Devil deer? Oh, they're all uh, super rare albino great ones. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's actually a decent buck right there. That guy's not bad. That's probably two thirties. We do got some good bucks in this group. Ah, uh, they good fled box. before I could shoot the third. Back here. I'm going to okay. do this one run and check all my zones, and then I think I know a few zones I'm going to omit. Stop hunting. Yeah. Just to tighten it up. Sometimes you just got to do that. For a while, I stopped hunting this uh, tiny north lake because it wasn't producing enough. Because that was, yeah, fair enough. That was how I did it the first time. I was only hunting like, I think, 14, 14 zones. And then for some reason, I've just been hunting more. Yeah. This time. I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to like how many zones I'm hunting like ever since like 6,000 kills ago. Mm -hmm. It's just been, I hunt these lakes regardless of what's there. And that's all I hunt. Interesting. Yeah, see, this zone doesn't even have whitetail anymore. That's not even a whitetail zone anymore. My gosh. What is happening, man? I don't know. Trying to find some whitetail. Great one moose would definitely be cool. Definitely would be cool. Yeah, and we get another rare deer. Where are you? Dude, the tiny lake on the very, like, bottom right of Rancho has been incredible for me. Like, there's always a lot of whitetail here for me. The which one? On the bottom right? Yeah, the really tiny lake on the bottom right. Oh, yeah, I don't have whitetail there. Dude, what? Except really? No whitetail there. That, that's very sad because it's been such a yeah. good spot for me consistently have lots of deer here. It's the one I got the uh, super rare at yesterday. That little lake is just loaded with whitetail every time I go here. And it wasn't at first. At first it was just like three or four deer. And now I've got like ten here every time. And like half of them are bucks. It's That's been very nice. solid. Whitetail. My map is void of whitetail today. I've had two zones. You know, I bet I know where they are. Where? I bet they're gonna be at map. that uh, that lake, like map. middle south. Oh, middle south! I haven't checked there in a while. Down I by the uh, the hot spot, because I've got like six or seven zones of whitetail at that lake. I just don't hunt it because it's so difficult. Only got one zone there right now. Wow, that's what is going on with your map? Don't know. You know, I I, 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 I wonder if they're all again. along the southern coast. I have one zone along the southern coast. What? What I've about checked. the W lake? The W lake at the bottom left. Uh, apparently that one's got a lot oh, of white I've tail got, now. I had a few. Well, I've still got a few zones there, but last yeah, I've got three zones there, but last few times I've gone down there, I haven't been able to find them. Mm, I don't weird. know. There's just something weird going on with my map. Definitely. Have Definitely you checked the old mule deer hotspot top right? Yep. I don't have a white tail zone there. What? Do you yeah, think maybe they're just getting there late? I mean, they could be. Always possible. Is that a piebald buck? I can't tell. Probably. I swear if it is. I don't think it is, actually. Nah, it's not. It's just a regular one. It was just the angle and the brush. Well, we're going to ignore the bad aim. Duck aim has arrived.
None of your lakes are good except Bosque Alto. Bosque Alto is very consistent. I think it's consistently like one of the best lakes. Yeah, that's where I'm at now. Bosque Alto is just amazing. Oh, I've got a zone over there too. Yeah, I've got five zones here. Nice. But two of them don't have white tail at the moment, and they haven't. For oh, a while. that's not so good. I've got three. Well, I've got three. That's at least. not good at all. Do people have whitetail at that northeast lake with the lookout point next to it? I don't know if I should check it or not, Sarah. Uh, the northeast lake? Yeah, well, I've got... Yeah, you could have. You might have whitetail at both of those. I have whitetail at this one, but not the far east. But they're both worth checking. Yeah, I honestly recommend checking every lake. Because, like, I feel... I feel like things move around a lot. Yeah. And everybody's map seems to be progressively more and more different the more updates we get yeah. to the game. Mm -hmm. Things just spread out more and more, it seems, so I would just yeah, check just everything if you can. Just check all the water. Think of it like it's late. Check waiting. it all. You know, Red, it's, it's fine. It's probably... So rare. Hunter Boy's probably new to the channel, probably doesn't uh, know me too well, and uh, is probably just making a uh, poor judgment call. So uh, it's okay. Some people just uh, take a little bit longer to come around. And some don't at all, but it's all good. Part of life. Part of, you know. Some people let the opinions of other creators uh, flood out their judgment. I think if we fast travel, we should get all these to spook out. And then we should be able to take them out. Spook them out and take them out, Crow. Ooh, oh my gosh, yes, there's a ton. There is take a ton. Out. Take them out. Take them out. That's a big two. I th is that diamond potential? That might big be. Tuna. Um, I think that's... that's no, I don't think tuna. that'll be diamond, but it'll be close. I'm pretty sure this is going to be, like... 248 or something like that. It looks like a good deer. Well, Probably Kyla. Got a couple bucks. Oh, and a couple more. Oh, got you, Hunter Boy. Understandable. How's your La Hacienda been? Lots of bucks there? Since the update? Um, it's been hit or miss. Sometimes yeah. there's a lot, other times there's barely any. One thing I have noticed, if you see deer just kind of disappearing at La Hacienda, check the really tiny lake that is just south of it. Oh, really? Right next to the they name La Hacienda. Yes, they oh, are. Really they go there, there quite a bit. I've had a diamond there oh, wow. twice now. What the heck? I didn't know they yeah. were down there. It seems to be a pretty common lake for them to go to. Crazy. I'll definitely check that. Hey, there's that big buck. What do you guys think? Is this, is this gonna be a diamond? Or is it gonna be a 230s? Is it gonna be a 240s? It's hard to tell from this angle. Really hard to tell. I don't know, it looks like 240s to me. That might be the riskiest shot I've ever took. 240, oh my. I'm say 241. Gosh. <laughs> Risky. I shot it as the outline was disappearing through the trees. Oh, no, 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 no. Jeez. Stop. Jeez, dude. Oh, there's... I forgot about that deer. Let's uh, get that guy, too. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, let's get her as well. They were, like, perfectly in line with each other, so I thought there was just one deer. Yeah, it looks like a lot of you are thinking 240s and like high 230s. Buck, 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 buck. My PC's been kind of laggy today. Oh, really? 
Yeah, I'm getting more stutters in Call of the Wild. Is it your internet or your PC? Well, it wouldn't be internet. Like, frame rate stutters aren't going to be internet. Oh, okay. I got you. It's, it's probably just uh, my PC heating up too much. It's your map heating up too much? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the map. <laughs> it's having Everything issues because it's trying to spawn the great one. It's like, let's give him a great one. Oh, gosh, it's stuck. We can't get the great one out. His rack's too big. You think heaters happen more in like when it, in the summer when it's hot out? I wonder if that's a thing. Maybe. It's trying so to many, fry your rigs, so probably. So many, so many possibilities. There is. 239. Yeah, that's a big buck. Not bad. Not as big as I thought, but I mean, 239 is still good. Maybe that'll be a good much. respawn. That's the little guy. Should be a couple more bucks up here. Get him. What one. is one. <laughs> that doe is using my tripod as protection. There's another one. Oh gosh, stop running. Oh yeah, dialed. Yes, I'm okay. using the 308 AR. It is quite the beautiful rifle. Got that pineapple power. Let's go. Pineapple power. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come through with a hot take. Pineapple yeah. does belong on pizza. I don't care what you guys Ooh. say. Dang, dude, get him. I don't care what you guys say. It belongs on pizza and it's delicious. Heck yeah, Team Pineapple Crow, welcome. welcome it's to too Team good. Pineapple. I I grew up. <laughs> I'm done modding. <laughs> really, Kyle? <laughs> I grew up on Hawaiian pizza, so. I didn't like it as a kid. Not gonna you lie, didn't? man. I've never, I've never, I've never announced this. I've never. I I've grew up on it, man. That. You guys like... would be shocked to know. When I was a kid, <laughs> I thought it was a little bit weird, but as I got older, I started really liking it. You yeah. know what? I, you know what I'll say. Supreme pizza is better. Any kind of barbecue pizza is better. Well, you can't compare. But them. pineapple is not bad. So different. Pineapple is amazing. Exactly. I'm just saying it's not my favorite pizza yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. It ranks kind of in the middle, but it's by no means okay. bad. Perfect. It's good enough for me, man. I feel good oh, about that. Yeah. We can no longer be friends. <laughs> I know I've made quite a few enemies with that take, but it's uh it's fine. Not Honestly, every good not everybody can love friends, the pineapple. You make you make more friends being honest than you lose. Exactly. It's the harder way to be, but it's the better way to be. I think. Anyway. I got another one. <laughs> um, apologies Not for who enough. this may offend, but LaCroix are not bad. I like LaCroix. Yeah, Do they're good. I like LaCroix. I like them. It's just oh yeah, there's water. there's some people that despise them. Oh, those are probably people that don't like uh, sparkling water though, right? Like not just Pretty LaCroix, much. but like any of any of them. I think a lot of people just don't like that it, it doesn't have like a strong flavor to it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that people are addicted to sugar. That's a big part. It's it, it's literally because there is no sugar or anything in it. it. It's just water and natural flavoring. There's no poison in it. Yay! Exactly. That's the reason that it doesn't have a strong taste. It's the reason it's very light. <laughs> it's a decent buck. Every time I turn around to or turn a corner to look in a zone, I just pause for a second and look. Is there a great one? Is there a great one? Nope. Chicken Not Alfredo yet. pizza sounds good. That sounds really good. Wait, that's a th that's a thing. I didn't know chicken Alfredo pizza was a thing. Space chicken Alfredo pizza. Oh, space pizza. That's what space we need. Pizza. Where's yeah. Musk when you need him? I want a pizza that just like zero gravity floats up to my mouth. Uh, Tyler, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Pineapple belongs on pizza. I agree. See, Tyler knows what's up. It also Tyler makes a big difference up. if they're using whether they're using fresh pineapple or canned pineapple. That's a, there's a huge difference oh, there. Oh yeah. By the way, that's a fresh that's, pineapple all the way. 
Yeah, like canned pineapple doesn't even taste like pineapple. Which is and why a lot of times what I like pineapple. doing, we've done this a few times where we get a pizza that doesn't have pineapple on it and then we just put our own on it. Mm-hmm. It like tastes better that way. Pineapple. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so some good. yummy pineapple. But like, to be fair, I totally understand why people wouldn't like that. Like, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah, like it, it's not I for get everybody. Why that would but not be, yeah. But I just like it for some reason. I think it's because it's a fruit. Like, not everybody wants fruit on their pizza. Yeah, it's weird to. It's it's a weird thing for for a lot of people. Fair enough. <laughs> Steak pizza sounds so good. Is that a thing? Steak on oh, pizza? Oh, yeah. Panago. Do you guys good. have Panago there? I think it might only be Canadian. Yeah, I've never heard of that in my life. Mm, really? Oh, yeah. Got a really good steak pizza. Yeah, I guess it's Canadian only. Dude, the greatest pizza that I've ever had. Um, I forgot the exact name, but it's like a barbecue pizza that has barbecue sauce instead of pizza sauce. It's got... Uh, oh, it's Santa Fe Barbecue Chicken. That's what it's called. Mm, where's that it from? is so delicious. Um, I don't know if this place is anywhere besides Oregon. Let me see. Let me see. It looks like it's mainly Oregon, but it's it's a place called Figaro's Pizza. There's a ton of them in Oregon. Figaro's? I don't know about okay. other places, but yeah, they, they make a Santa Fe barbecue pizza that is just phenomenal. It is so good. It sounds pretty good. It sounds yeah, it's pretty amazing, good. dude. It's like a barbecue sauce instead of uh, uh, instead of normal tomato sauce. It's got mozzarella cheese. It's got chicken. It's got pineapple. Um, oh, yeah, I believe good. there's also like some onions on there. Some peppers on there would be good. I don't know if there's peppers. I know there's onions. And I think there might be maybe mushrooms as well. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. Honestly, in my it. book, you can't go wrong with mushrooms on anything. Anytime I have a burger or a pizza or anything, I got to load on the mushrooms. Yeah, I love mushrooms. So good. Especially sauteed fan. in butter. Oh, with onions. Oh yes, some, some garlic in there. Oh my gosh. Um, ah man, we'll now I now I want a homemade pizza with lots of mushrooms. Yeah. Dude, make one. I'm sorry, guys, if we're making you excessively hungry for pizza. It's a it's a pretty constant thing for my streams, but it makes the thing is it makes me hungry too. Yeah. And I don't feel so bad because at least well. at least everyone else can eat. <laughs> We just can't eat. If they want to. Um, my biggest besiege. I think I've got a two o two o four, maybe two o five. You have a you have a two hundred plus. I haven't even got close. Oh yeah, I've got a I've got a bunch of them. I think one ninety seven's like, my biggest. Oh my gosh, I should go back and look. I've got a. I think I've got four or five that were two hundred plus. I've got like thirty five diamond uh, besiege ibex. And needs me some of, of those. <laughs> You don't like pizza at all, Zyphon, but you can customize it to be whatever flavor you want. You can make your own pizza universe. I think I just killed every year. Really, five. Revive? You're not a fan of those uh, that topping combination? Well, I guess that's the amazing thing about uh, pizzas. You really can just customize it whatever way you want, which is why I always say like if I could only eat one food pizza because I can make it like whatever way I'm pizza. feeling like Definitely You want a veggie pizza then you can have a veggie pizza you want a meat lovers pizza You can have a meat lovers pizza you want a Hawaiian one you got that you want a barbecue you got that There's just so much variety. Oh, did we forget mm -hmm. a deer? We did. Hello. I Left you for two runs, but it's okay. You have finally been recovered. You got a 200 plus today, Chris. Nice, dude. Taco pizza. Yeah, taco pizza is good, too. All white pizza? What's that mean? Like uh, Alfredo? Like a garlic sauce? Probably like Some mozzarella, crust. Swiss, maybe. Sounds like a cheese pizza, maybe, with like Alfredo yeah. sauce. Yeah, I was thinking kind of like an Alfredo sauce as well. And 
maybe it's got maybe it's got some of the like um, more white colored mushrooms yeah maybe I've never heard of that before though That's what it is. yeah same uh, no deer here that's unfortunate look at all the dead deer oh my gosh so many I don't actually know gaming with a duck. I, I don't know how we got on the topic of pizza. Oh, it's because it's because I, I just randomly pizza. said that my hot take is I like pineapple on pizza. And then we just started about we just started talking about all types of pizza. I think it started, though, when we were talking about what to call a heater. and I said pizza party. Oh, yeah, true. You did say that. that, was, that and was it was like a couple uh couple like 20 minutes later. Or so I was like. Yeah. Pineapple. It was, your, it was in your brain. What? Is that a single doe there? No. That can't Casey be planted that into my brain, and then it sprouted some thoughts of pizza. Planted the pizza seeds. Which are a thing, by the way. Pizzas grow from Pizza trees. Seeds. Pizza I, I love pizza trees. It's always nice to go pick some fresh dough off the tree. Yes. But the pizza places are not telling you. Yeah, all you they need is a pizza they tree. grow all their dough. They've taken the monopoly on the pizza trees, but you can plant your own. Hot sauce on pizza? Sweet. I've never done hot sauce on pizza, so I wouldn't Ooh, know how I that love is. Hot sauce on pizza. Put it. You put it on after. After it's. I've cooked. seen. You know, one thing I've never understood is when people put ketchup on pizza or ketchup oh, on burritos, weird. like. Not ketchup. I, I've never understood ketchup on burritos or ketchup on pizza, but I see so many people do it, and it bugs me every time. Yeah, that's not okay. Not okay with that. Every time, I'm just like, man... Don't get me wrong, I like ketchup. Why ruin the beautiful flavor of that burrito or that pizza with ketchup? Wrong application. Put, put the ketchup on your hot dogs, not your burritos. Right. Hot dogs, Or burgers, put it on your fries. burgers, even you with, know? Yeah, burgers. Even with breakfast. Dude... Another thing, a lot of people like, you know, uh, ketchup on scrambled eggs, which I think is really good. I think that's pretty delicious. Yeah, but do that. Oh, if you haven't tried bug. it, barbecue what sauce on scrambled eggs is even better. Oh, I like, I like like A1 steak sauce with eggs or like HP even. That sounds like it'd be kind of good, yeah. Ooh, if you like barbecue sauce with eggs, you'll like, you'll like the A1, I think. Dude, yeah, barbecue sauce with eggs is one of the best things I think I've ever tried. Yeah, I love just, it. just like I guess, best thing I've tried that was just like a spontaneous, like, hey, let's do it. Like eggs on toast with barbecue sauce, like a little barbecue sauce on the toast, then it's a fried egg on top. Oh man! Ooh, one of the best things that I I remember always doing as a yeah, kid was uh, my dad would make eggs and toast, and then I'd dip the toast into the yolk. Just the best. So good. Yeah, I love doing that. Yeah, I like my eggs runny. Ketchup goes with everything, though. Not everything, Destro Smash. I'm not everything. I'm destroying zones, Crow. You, you better not make you me are? regret this. Yeah. Hey, I, I mean, you've seen the results from my zone destroying. Yeah, fair enough. It's done well for me. If you do it improperly, that's not my fault. <laughs> yeah. You're not doing it right. You're not shooting things all... You're... Yep. Yeah, yeah. English is hard. You're, you're not shooting everything correctly. You're not blasting everything in sight the right way. I think the biggest thing, honestly, is just limiting the amount of lakes you're doing it at. That's the biggest thing I've noticed. If I try to branch out from the lakes I normally hunt, it ruins everything. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, because then they have more places that they're trying to get back to. Okay, well, I'm gonna just check those spots then. This is a weird rack, but not shoot anything at the places that I don't want to hunt anymore. That's a really weird rack. Yeah. That's the biggest reason I always recommend just the three main lakes that I hunt and then those two small ones. Because they, they're they the most consistent with spawns. Yeah, like the bottom left I'm not gonna bother with, and then there's the lake above the bottom yeah, left. Yeah, if, if you're doing this method at those really brushy lakes, because their terrain is so, like, rough, if, if they start moving their zones around, 
you're eventually going to run into a situation where you have to move your tents, but with the way I've got it set up with these, I never have to move my tents or stands. They're always in a place where I can hunt everything. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll move stuff around a little bit too. This will free up some tents for me. Yeah, dude, for sure. I have I literally have all my tents dedicated to the three main lakes and then one tent at each of the small ones. Nice. Just so you can check. Yeah. Ex well, I, well, I hunt the two small lakes, so I do oh, have right, a... right. Those uh, two small ones. Got you. Yeah. I don't have tents at any lake I'm not hunting for the grind. Ranch is a lifestyle, says Caitlin. Do you like ranch, Crow? Do you do ranch? Do you do I like, like ranch, ranch dressing. Um, yeah, I, like I don't too. really like it on... I don't really put it on my pizza or anything like that, but I'm not opposed to like ranch dressing on the crust or something. Like it's it's not too bad. It's not my first choice though. I've been eating but, like um, super low low carbs lately. Like a lot of oh, meat, you a have? lot of fruit. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping nice. it healthy, man. At my age, you kind of have to. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm I'm trying to start uh, eating healthier, but it's kind of hard like, to do that around tax time. <laughs> <laughs> lots of meat and eggs, lots of fruit, some veggies, not as much ve not as much veggies as I, used, as I used to eat, but lots of fruit. Fruit is like just loaded with like yeah, good nutrients and stuff. And the, then like the thing that I've been sucks drinking, about I've been eating healthy, right? And eating like raw honey, which is like oh, super nice. good for you. Yeah, raw honey is yummy. Yeah. You know one of the really, most difficult really things about eating healthy though? What's that? The prices on everything that's healthy. Yeah, I know. It's expensive. Like my gosh. Yeah, like the milk that I've been drinking is like for a liter, it's like five bucks. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You really have yeah. to stretch like things as far up. as you can when you're trying to eat healthy. Kind of, yeah. But then again, you know, it's expensive going out and like eating pizza and like having fast food and stuff like that's expensive too. True, true. You know what isn't expensive? Dollar Tree food. <laughs> Chef Boyardee. <laughs> yeah. Give me that top ramen every day. Yeah. I, I like ramen. I love ramen. Not every day, though. No, not every day at all. For a no, while, I, I was eating it pretty much every day, though. When I first started YouTube, that's pretty much what my diet was, was ramen and whatever other cheap food I could find. Your poor body. I know, it was rough. And that was around that, the like, beginning of the pandemic while, as but... well, so it was like... I wasn't getting outside. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I got pretty unhealthy the first, like, year of doing YouTube. And then I was like, okay, this is getting out of hand. Yeah, me too. I've tried to be a little bit better recently getting outside more. Which was actually yeah. the reason that uh, me and Bree started doing Pokemon Go was because we wanted to have something to, like, get us moving around more. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. That's what it takes. Oh, yeah. It's been Where fun. What? Oh, I gotta reset the I don't know, man. As I blast five Whitetail... Got a couple good bucks this zone, I, but I've got all your white tail. Though. I think they just somehow ventured over to me. Yeah, I'm convinced I took all your white tail. How could you do this? You took my super rares. I did. <laughs> it's okay. You took my red deer super rare. That's true. Hate that store-bought ramen. Yeah, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's okay when you gotta have it. But it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> it also depends on how you make it, too. I like to add when it's uh, when the water is heating up, I, I crack an egg into it. That's like traditional ramen usually has... A poached oh egg. yeah, so I did. So I do the poached egg, some cilantro, some onion. Yeah, my uh, brother-in-law uh, does that too. He likes the. Yeah. That's literally how he does it: egg and sriracha. <laughs> yeah, love it. Ramen with ketchup. Don't even start, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Ramen with ketchup. Ooh. Ketchup. Ketchup water. Gosh, Yum. that made me cringe to read. Boil a hot dog in there. <laughs> Yeah. Why? Dude, I'm starving. Boil a now. hot dog in that. What? Boil a hot oh dog in there. Gosh, that would be terrible. A little, re little relish in there for some green because green is healthy. It's so a little relish. Yeah, man. 
Bree just told me that she uh, has seen people put ketchup on mac and cheese. That's a thing. That's a big thing. Wait, that's well. I mean, like almost every kid does that, right? Isn't that I'm, a thing? I never heard of it ever until just really? two seconds ago. Oh. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Let him know, chat. Let him know. Why? That doesn't sound good. It's a thing. I used to do it when I was a kid. It is really good. Oh, that doesn't sound good, I man. I don't know why. Although I'm, I'm, I'm kind of picky with my mac and cheese. Like, I like it just mac and cheese you know nothing extra added except like some pepper and salt mm. and maybe a little bit of like uh oregano or like some italian seasoning but not a ton just a little pinch but yeah, yeah fair enough i just like yeah i like it really cheesy salt and pepper some hot sauce at the end you don't mess around with mac and cheese man sometimes when i make it i'll i'll bake it in the oven after with like um put breadcrumbs on top you gotta get yeah crispy top to it yeah that's good i think that's most mac top. and cheese is just like good as it is like it doesn't need call a that, lot to be good yeah call that mac yes please shells and cheese is infinitely superior to all other forms i can agree with that i do like the one of my favorite like store-bought mac and cheese has to be the annie's like annie's mac and cheese is really good definitely like some of the higher quality box mac and cheese i've ever had i don't i've never had that never had it they're good dude they're really good it's huh. like um it's like an organic mac and cheese <clears throat> it's pretty good i like it i'm gonna check a few of these lakes and if i don't have anything good i'm gonna remove in the tents i'm not gonna hunt them anymore these little lakes because i'm yeah yeah no point put it on pizza and you'll dream about it wait put what on pizza don't tell me you're talking about the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese on pizza? It's a lot of carbs. <laughs> Please tell me that's not what you're talking about. Bread and noodles? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you know what's really good, though? Baked mac and cheese. Yeah. Yeah, I like to cook it and then bake it after. Baked mac and, and cheese is great. Get that melty cheese on top. Yeah, we went over to visit my mom recently, and uh, she made, like, a baked mac and cheese, and it was so good. It was her nice. first time making it, too, and it turned out really well. You know what's really good in mac and cheese, if you're going to put anything in it? What? Uh, mushrooms. Ooh, yes. Yep. It does sound kind of good. I think mushrooms go good with most things, so. Yeah, mushrooms and mac and cheese. You can put some meat in there, too. Ground beef with mushrooms in mac and cheese? I have no problem with that at all. I have no problem with that. No okay, problem. this... Oh. That is a white tail zone. They're just not here yet. Hmm. And right there, too. Hmm. I are just taking their sweet time. Yep, yep. Hmm. 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 Dude, I have so much editing to do tonight. And yes, uh, Casey, the answer is yes. I do always upload my videos at 12. Oh. <laughs> Every day, okay. it's always 12 for me. Well, I gotta change the time, then. 12, maybe 12.30 or 11.30. Yeah, 12.30 is probably good because my videos are never more than like, typically never was, more than 20 minutes. I was thinking I'd make them at one, but I feel like that's, I mean, I guess that could work. I feel like that's yeah, out one. of that pocket though. Although Flinter uploads at two every day, doesn't he? Yeah, which is like five Eastern time, which is when uh, if people have school, they'd be out of school. It's also a little bit later in the day where one. most people are getting off of work, so. I feel like it's better to have a round number, you know? Where's this other deer? Easier to remember. Yeah, true. Oh my gosh, where are uh, Streams are typically tail? two hours long, Keaton. Like one and a half to two and a half hours on average. What are the super rares? Oh, that's right. You missed it, Pelican. We got a second super rare whitetail today. That's uh, two diamond piebalds in two days. Honestly, the craziest luck we've ever had. Yeah, that's absolutely insane that you did that two days in a row. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. It was literally the first thing we spotted today. We we spent like five minutes trying to get my internet to not be terrible. And then we changed the time at the top small lake and then went down to La Hacienda. And first thing we see trotting off in the distance was a level three piebald. Just incredible how it happened. Gosh, I want to just omit these lakes and move on, but I, 
I don't know what the heck is going to be back here for the respawns. You know? Gotta check. Yeah, Johnny, you missed it. You missed it, dude. It was insane. There we go. There's another deer. In before great one. Nope. Just a small male. We gotta be close, though. Yeah, Bubbles, you missed it, sadly. How many kills has it been since the last great one you got? Uh, roughly 700. Oh, that's not much. Yeah, it has not been much at all. I'm wondering if because the last one was an initial spawn from the update, maybe it won't take as long to get another. Obviously, yeah. there's there's really no science to that. It's just yeah, no, random no. odds regardless, but it would be crazy if we got another one already. Yeah. But I, I guess my first great one was 500 kills after Rancho release, so... Yeah, that's insane. Mine took so long. It's been back and forth for me. I went 2,700 kills, then got a bugged great one on Layton. Went 1,000 kills more, and that's when I got my Rancho great one. And then it took like three or four kills more, and I got the initial spawn on Layton. Mm-hmm. And then between that and the next one, it was about 2,700 kills. Jeez. And then between great one number three and four, it was around 4,500 kills, I believe. Okay. Yeah, because I... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's been... I think the first one took two, 2,100 kills, and now it's been, I think, another 1,100. My math is right, eleven or twelve hundred. Hopefully so. that next one's close, dude. Yeah. Well, it doesn't feel like it, but I think you used never, up all your luck with the red deer, though. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it's never felt like it. Anytime I've gotten a great one, I haven't expected it to happen. Oh yeah, same. No heaters for me. There they are. There's the white tail. Okay. I'm not gonna bother shooting any of those because I don't want respawns here. Okay, we got nothing good over there. We got a pretty thick looking herd over here right now. You heard? You got a nice herd? Oh heard my gosh, herd. Bubbles. <laughs> you ever heard of a herd that heard? You ever heard of a herd? You ever heard of a thick herd? That's actually a good buck right there. Can we get him down? Probably 230s. Goodbye, good buck. Seeing a lot of 230s bucks as well, which I feel like is a good sign too. Lots of 230s bucks, lots of diamonds. Things, sing, a, sing a lot. Things are looking good. They said sing a lot. Yes, sing a sing lot. A of lot. Bucks. We're going to sing a lot. A lot of two thirties bucks. And I'll sing a. Anyway, I'll stop. Nice, Pelican. What fishing game have you been playing? Oh, speaking okay. of fishing games. Bye bye. This KC, way. did did I tell what? you that I got a Switch recently? No, but you were talking. Well. Uh, Wait, weren't you saying in yesterday's stream that you were going to get one? I uh, know. Yesterday I actually did my one? first stream for one. Mm. Yeah, I'm starting to stream some of the games on there because I wanted... Originally I just got it because I wanted to stream the, the new Pokemon games. But... How'd it go? How was that stream? It was fun. Of course, nice. there's there was always, as to be expected, a couple people that were like, Why are you playing this game instead of Call of the yeah. Wild? But it's other than that, everybody enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Streaming on Nintendo Switch. I don't know if I've ever seen it. And then there was a one random guy that just came in, like, cussing and throwing out homophobic slurs. And it was like, okay, <laughs> I can tell you're mad, kid. Get out Perfect. of here. <laughs> the internet. Sounds like the internet. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, as I was going to say, there's actually a fishing game on there that I'm excited to play. I don't know if you've heard of the real fishing games. They were pretty big on the PS1 and PS2. Uh, Okay. And I oh, used to play them then, a lot, but... dude. Like, Real Fishing 2 is one of my favorite fishing games of all time. Sadly, it was only available on the PlayStation 1, as far as I know, and maybe maybe some other consoles, but I think it was mainly the PlayStation 1, and it's so hard to get gotcha. a copy of that thing nowadays. Okay. But uh, they have, they have a, a newer Real Fishing game that's only available on the Switch, so I went ahead and got that, and I'm kind of excited to play it. It's called, like, Real nice. Fishing Road Trip Adventure. That's excited to see what cool. it's like. You get to go on a road trip too. I uh, do. Yeah, fun, apparently. 
Imagine a game Apparently. where you're just going on a road trip. They have games like that. Do they? Where you're just yeah. like going from town to town. I think there's more like story stories implemented into it though. But I think there Sounds is some cool. games like that. That's a 240 buck, not bad. Solid. What a zone there. Oh, there they are. Make sure there's nothing good. Three bucks. Wait, his there, name isn't really Scarecrow? <gasps> How'd you know? How'd you know, Bubbles? KC, I don't know if you knew this, but my real name is not Scarecrow. It's not? No. What do you mean? Wait, what? I'm not Scarecrow. Well, then who That's... is Scarecrow? What are you talking about? Scarecrow's, Sca Scarecrow's my you stage name. sound exactly name. like Scarecrow. Oh. You sound exactly like him. That's so weird. It's it's, it's quite crazy. <laughs> sound exactly like him. Oh, we got a we got a bunny. We got a rabbit down here. What the? Oh, oh, I've got white tail over there. What? You said that right as I heard a doe call over to my right. I've got white tail where I didn't know I had white tail. Oh, I mean that's white tail for you. They move so much. I don't want them to be at this lake though. I don't care about this lake. Don't come here. Go somewhere else. 236, man, we're getting a lot of good deer, like a lot of 230s and 240s. Yeah, see, you know what's good about this for me, though? I get great ones when there's nothing happening. <laughs> That's normally so how it is for happen. me. It could happen today. This could definitely happen today. I'm going to take these tents. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Bubbles. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm not talking to chat so much. I see you guys, though. And I appreciate you guys, though. I promise. Oh, my gosh. Bubbles, if you weren't so hilarious, then... <laughs> Bubbles says that my real name is his dad. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> that's funny. See, that Bubble, that's the Bubbles way that you can say it and it not be weird. <laughs> Take that as a lesson no. for the people that just randomly jump in stream and drop one word that just says daddy. And it's like, are you, do you need help? <laughs> that's the way you do it. Bubbles is a genius over here. Yep, he is. He definitely is. How's the grind going? Well, you never really know how the grind is going. It could be going, I mean, there could be a great one on my map, so it could be going amazingly well. You never really know, but it's going. It's definitely going. Definitely is still going. I'm it's trying to going as always. some of these zones, some of these, you know, littler lakes that have like one zone, just to make this, just to tighten up the rotation a bit. I think we need to do that. It's a bit of a mess right now. These zones at this lake are really weird. Man, I got so many zones where it's like, sometimes they're just, they just don't go there. Sometimes they are there. I don't know yeah. exactly how that works. Maybe they've just not really rendered yet kind of thing. It's It seems that, uh, it seems that Bubbles is coming over to say hi to you. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Brace yourself. <laughs> I think, it, but then again, it's like what, what Jaxie talked about, right? You know what I mean? So it might just be that I haven't been in this part of the map yet kind of thing. So maybe. maybe. They're still waltzing on in. Bubbles, member for 15 months. Jeez, Bubbles, man. That is a long time. Bubbles is an OG for both Sheesh. the channels. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Much appreci, much appreci. I do much appreciate. Yes, I do. Right, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, I tell here. All right, well, I know, right, Johnny? I shouldn't have spoke. I shouldn't have said it. I spoke too soon. Check um, I'm just on my map, Johnny. I, we're actually not on the same map. Casey's hunting his map. I'm hunting my map. We just yep. wanted to jump in and chat while we're hunting. I might have to check that bottom. That big, uh, big south lake that you're talking about. See if I got more zones there. Because I don't have enough zones, I feel like. I gotta be somewhere. 
Oh yeah, they gotta be somewhere. They're probably at lakes that you're not thinking they're at. Oh, have you I mean, um, I'm, have you I'm hunted those like uh, three lakes that are like clustered together, uh, to the bottom the right? right of Ghost Lake? Yeah, that was literally the zone the the tents I just picked up and the zones I omitted were were over hmm. there. Okay, because I was gonna uh, say I had a few there. Zones. Yeah, I had a few there, and they were all really awkward to like get to, and like see. Yeah. So I'm glad to take that out, but. Oh yeah. Gonna need some more. As always, I just recommend putting all your tents on Bosque Alto, Ghost Lake, and La Hacienda. It, it's so nice. Yeah, Ghost Lake and La Hacienda are two of my best spots. Bosque Alto? Oh, so you're not doing El uh, Potrero? You're not hunting there? Where is El Potrero? Uh, to the left of uh, the bottom the bottom lake. The funky left shaped the lake. Oh no, cactus. I hate that lake. <laughs> Oh really? I got. Some I despise there, it man. because it's so brushy and weird shaped. You have to dedicate yeah, more enough. tents to less zones than you could on other lakes. So I just don't yeah. use it. I've got three zones there, but I've always had good lakes. A good. Uh, I've got three you have, tents you have there, good but I've always had good zones lake? there. Yeah, I just mix up every word possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Be all right. But yeah, I have three tents there. I've got, but my zones there are so good. Well, one of the zones. I really just good. find that it takes too long to hunt those zones. <laughs> Got to dedicate so much tents just to quickly hunt them. Because I, I yeah. don't know if you do the same thing, but I try to make it so every zone I hunt, I can fast travel to immediately to claim the deer. Yeah. In most tents. cases. Yeah, like I, I do that in I most them. cases. That's what I call them anyway. And a lot of times I've got it set up to where like I spawn at a tent and then I'm able to like shoot a bunch of deer at other zones. And then when I fast travel, the deer that were uh, right, like the zone that I was on top of, everything will spawn in for there. And mm -hmm. then I can just shoot those. Mm -hmm. That's yep. how I have most of my zones set up. Oh my gosh, there's another. Oh my gosh, there's a friggin' white tail zone right here. Yeah, before the update, I had my, oh, there's a zone right there. Oh my goodness. I had, uh, it was so perfectly streamlined and set up with tents, like, but then after the update, it's still, I'm still trying to, like, I feel like I'm still just trying to, like, figure out how I want to set it up, what I want to hunt. Yeah, I gotta get back in the groove of things. Yeah. I just found another zone on the coast. Next to the one that I had. Are you hunting, the, you're not hunting the coast. I kind of don't want to hunt the coast either. Nah, I, I don't hunt the coast. Like it's I said, just those annoying. three main oh lakes and the two tiny ones. But I've got such a good zone here. Got eight, uh, seven white that tail. Deer. Yeah. There's that deer. The deer are escaping. Seven white tail. So even if, what do you do if there's a zone somewhere? Like I've got seven white tail here, two big bucks. The temptation I... is obviously. I just Three don't hunt it if it's not at the lakes I like. Like, I, I've got great zones at a couple of lakes that I hate. I just ignore them. Fair enough. I might keep this zone. Like, um, you know that right that lake next to the old southern hotspot that's not there anymore? That lake... It's got like five or six zones for me, and at least three of them are herds of 10 plus deer that have big 85 to 100 bucks, but... Because they're so hard to hunt, I just don't even bother. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, probably not, Isaiah. I don't plan to do another stream today. I gotta get uh, the video prepared for tomorrow with the, the super rares and stuff. I gotta get that ready because I, I don't have a video for tomorrow. I got, I got to get to work and getting done. Gonna do it, right? Gotta do it. Yeah. Get a video, video up tomorrow. Tomorrow. Video up in the morning. <laughs> Scarecrow's got to do some editing. Yes, that yeah, indeed. Get video uh, they the were morning. both piebald whitetail, Luke. It was two diamond piebald whitetail. Reagan, they're common now. Yeah, confirmed common. Confirmed yeah. common spawn. They're the new light brown turkey. Totally. Yeah. Diamond piebald whitetail. Pretty common. <laughs> Get like one a day. 
be grinding. Yeah, exactly. One a day. They're everywhere. Uh, yeah, about one a day. Ron McTube enters the chat. <laughs> yes, Kyla. Oh, guys, this is Ron McTube. Hello, Scarecrow. Except I can't. I, I can't got... do quite as deep of a voice because I I sound like I I'm you, twelve. Heard you got two piebald diamond watch. So I did. just wanted to ask how you did it, mate. How'd you do it, mate? Good make a video. Good. Oh gosh. Good mate. <laughs> Save good me. Make, good make a piebald diamond watch. How did you go, on, right? <clears throat> I like Ron, by the way. Keep it saying. Yeah, Ron's Bad cool. Bad impression. Bad impression. Love Ron. Great guy. Ron's one of the OGs in the community. He is super OG, yep. Yeah, Been there sure. since the beginning of Classic, even. Jeez. That's wild. Yeah, he, he's been around the community for a very long time. Even longer than Flinter. Yeah, that's crazy. We're still the noobs. Still the noobs. Yep, we are. I mean, I've, I've played the, the game. Babies. I've played classic ever since I was like 16, so. Jeez. Actually, even longer. Or no. I started playing uh, Counter-Strike when I was 16. Holy. <laughs> yeah, I think I was 16 when I started playing classic. But I made my account like two years before then. I just didn't get a, a PC to play it until a couple years later, so yeah, I started playing Classic when I was 16, and I'm almost 24 now. You're getting old. You're getting old, mate. I am. It's it's unfortunate. I'm retire soon. Yep. Almost getting there. <laughs> Baby yeah, boy Flinter. <laughs> How old's Flinter? Twenty-five. Oh, what is he? What is he? A year older. I than think you? Flinter's just like a year older than me, roughly. We're really close, I know that. We're either a year or a year and a half uh, difference. What is that, like 90, 97? 98? Something like that. You're, you're 98, right? Yeah, I'm 98. Jeez, not not so 98 crazy. years old, I promise. No, not quite. Not there yet, but one of these days. <laughs> I, was in, I, was in, <clears throat> I was in grade 9. Jeez. Grade 8? Gr grade 9? How old are you in grade nine? I was 14. Oh, Flinter's 24. Okay, so we're less than a year apart then. If he's 24 right now. AKA I'll be the same 24 age. in May. Yeah, that's crazy. Little wee baby. Turning 25 in December. Okay. Next or September, I mean. Okay. Yeah, so we're like. We're probably like a half year apart then. That's wild. Man, the bobcats are so spread out now. It's wild. They're like everywhere. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing tons of them. Like, uh, where is it? I saw a bunch of bobcats at a lake I didn't use to. I can't remember what lake, though. Um, I think they're everywhere now. Definitely seem to be that way. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember where it was. It wasn't a lake. I saw them in the in the southern hotspot feeding, and I was like, what? So, yeah, they, oh, they have moved around a lot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we, we, we saw that together. Yeah, and whitetail feed down there, too, now. You look like you're in your 30s. Well, I am in my 30s, so thank you. <laughs> that Yep, that's an accurate statement. I, I guess I'll take it as a compliment. And that's I accurate, look like anyway. I'm 18. Yeah. Which will benefit be, me in the long run. To be fair, I don't feel like I look that much older than you. <laughs> Not really. Like maybe like five years, six years. I would have, if if I'm being honest, I would have guessed you were like 28. Yeah, that's what people. 28 think. to 30, Late somewhere 20s. in that range. Blinter looks camera. like he's 12. <laughs> wow, camera. Kyla looks very young. He does. He does look time, very young. I remember the first time I saw what Flinter looked like. Uh and I'd heard him talk like quite a bit before I saw it. So you you know, you, you make a picture in your mind. First off, I thought he was much older. Uh, and then I saw a picture and it was just like, not what I, the first time I saw what he looked like was one of his hunting videos. And it was so weird to see that voice coming out of that, that person. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's not, he looked so young. He was like one of his older hunting videos. Oh yeah. 
It literally yeah, looked uh... like 14. Oh, yeah, I, like, I know, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, that was a so while young. ago. That was a while ago. So young. There's a doe here. Gone, sorry. Just a doe. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, I have actually been streaming longer than I was going to, I think. Yeah, a little bit over two hours now, so I'm probably going to go ahead and jump off. And Aaliyah's mad, as you guys can probably uh -oh. hear. So, yeah, I'm going to jump she off. She wants you to keep streaming. <laughs> she's, no, she's like, Dad, pay attention to me. I want you yeah. and Mom. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for dropping in. We will be back tomorrow with uh, a video, but no live stream. So, no stream tomorrow. But uh, we will have a video as always. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, thank you, Casey, for joining us. Hopefully you, we can do Thanks some more of me. these in the future. Oh, we will. And uh, yeah. Appreciate you. Peace, everybody. Have a good one. See you later. Later.